Today, the director of the FBI surprised many when he said that his agents disrupted terrorist plots likely targeting the 4th of July. Chris Van Cleve has more. There were thousands of additional police on America's streets over the holiday weekend after the FBI warned of possible ISIS-inspired terror attacks. FBI Director James Comey said today the agency arrested at least 10 people since late May it believed had been recruited online by ISIS. Comey declined to offer specifics but said, I do believe that our work disrupted efforts to kill people likely in connection with July 4th. Sources tell CBS News the FBI did not uncover a specific plot targeting Independence Day, but rather took into custody people who raised red flags. Sources say some of the arrests were for relatively minor offenses, including immigration violations. Most were in contact with people overseas believed to have connections to ISIS. Ron Hosko is a former assistant director of the FBI. A small-time player with the right weapon can do great harm can do harm to our economy, can certainly kill dozens of people. And, and so those small players um, can equate to, over time, the grand scale attacks that Al Qaeda had once planned against our country. The threat is not over, says former CIA Deputy Director Michael Morell. We are still on heightened threat because of that general radicalization that's taking place and because of that call to arms by ISIS during Ramadan, which, which doesn't end until mid-month. CBS News pressed the FBI repeatedly for specifics on the cases. They would not elaborate. There have been recent arrests in Boston, Rhode Island, and New York. Scott, one person was taken off the streets for attempting to buy bomb-making materials. Chris, thank you.